How many people in America would like to have their personal photographs from their travels on a once in a lifetime trip overseas to Japan stolen or ruined? How many people would love to have their photos of their late spouse or their late son deleted off their phone or off their computers? How many people would like to have their computers totally hacked in cybercrime? How many people would like to have their people always being abused in every way because of their crimes? You see, people like to play like they're innocent and they'll say, I didn't do anything wrong and he's spouting off at me and then what did that individual do? You see, the presumption is that the person is talking to them or about them, but maybe they're just on a phone and your employee is eavesdropping. The liars of America like to play games with people's rights, and your low-level employees are putting your companies at major risk when they play a game of fright. Their attitude is, I'm just going to keep pushing him off my line, I'm going to keep doing this, and the question that we are always raising is, whose job is it to talk to someone? Whose role is it to express something? But more importantly, whose role in your company is to monitor any human being outside or inside your organization? No, she got the point. She said, God won't do it this way. He said, why? Because people don't think about themselves until they think about someone else. She said, I'm not sure that's true, but Evie would know. She said, this is why he's angry. He doesn't want really to make it about himself. She said, no, he doesn't. And she got the point. She said, it's not all about him. It's what he's been going through. And she got the message to place yourself off the line again. <clears throat>